but we'll quickly move to rapid fire. There's a couple of very interesting okay. questions I'll take at the end, take at the end. Okay. We'll make it. We'll make it simple for you, <laughs> Doctor Jaitwani. We're not gonna. We're not. You know, it will be nice to you, right? This time, this time around, at least. But you know the rules, really. There's going to be about seven, eight questions. You know, person that comes to mind, just just go ahead and say it out. I'm sure, uh, you know, with your wealth of experience, there'll be some interesting story to get a little bit deeper into. Fantastic. So the first question: you, uh, What's one mistake you believe that every founder must avoid? So a lot of times, uh, sometimes founders drive like uh, go for like vanity metrics. Uh, I think just just stay simple, right? Focus on why you're unique, why you're compelling. Focus on you know the experience of a consumer, and deliver value, right? If you're on the right side of change, you know things will happen. So stop chasing some like fancy vanity metrics that you know you probably read some investors care about. Just be true to you're building a business. The main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing, right? So uh, sometimes founders <laughs> focus. That's a good uh, one. Can we can we get that on the screen? The main thing is to get this to this to this. Can you just repeat that? The main thing. The main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. I'm quoting someone, right? So I I, I don't know who that is, but I think once you uh, like being focused uh, as a founder uh, and being all in is uh, is super important. Second one. Uh, let's take it a little bit lighter. Who's your favorite superhero? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one. Maybe Black Panther. Why Black yeah. Panther? I don't know, just got a really good vibe. Uh, I think is a interesting mix of you know modern civilization and science and just like yeah. brute power. Uh, one thing you would like to like to change about the Indian startup ecosystem? Focus on. Uh, sorry, I'm sounding like a broken record here. Like focus on like being unique and compelling, right? We're seeing 50 companies of one kind sometimes. Um, I think so. The question that every founder should ask is, what is my? Am I unique? Am I compelling to my user? And what is my moat? How do I, like, if I'm different, how do I continue being ahead of the curve? Um, and uh, what is the IP that I'm generating here? Uh, so I think those are that's uh, at least in the, the, you know I only look at healthcare in India, so that's my limited experience uh, in that space. What's what is one lesson that you had to learn the hard way? And I know you would say that every lesson I've taken is the hard way, but what would be the one lesson that you learned? A couple, right? One is just around being uh, extremely hyper-focused in products that you're building, in hypotheses that you're trying. Like, I'm an impatient person, and so I want to do 20 things at once, uh, and uh, things don't work out uh, that way. So I think it's just about prioritization, focus. Um, the second is uh, uh, burnout, right? Founder burnout is real. We don't talk about it. Uh, both like emotional, mental, um, and uh, uh, it's uh, it's kind of stigmatized to talk about uh, founder depression, founder burnout. Uh, it's real, so take care of yourself because if you don't take care of yourself, there'll be no business. Uh, and so I think I think the the I've learned it the hard way several times, and, and I think uh, trying to prioritize that more and more. If we can ask you this question, I know I know it's still still early days, but is there a company that Your anti portfolio that that hurts you the most. Uh, <laughs> it's not the top <laughs> for us to. So I think we've missed a. Uh, we've we've said no to a lot of incredible companies. I, I think uh, I was just chatting with one of them, uh, my friend uh, Ryan Grant, who's building an incredible musculoskeletal company in the U.S. called Pori Health. Um, we had the opportunity to invest with them at seed, and you know, for uh, you know, wasn't able to. Make that you know weren't able to cross that bridge, and I think they're doing they're, do, they're solving an in, incredibly important problem of providing awesome like musculoskeletal you know uh, management in the U.S. Wow. and really bringing down uh, the costs and the needless surgeries that people are you know uh, having to do. Uh, so, incredible company. I'm, I'm I'm you know obviously rooting for for him and the team that he's built. Um, won't be surprised if that's the. You know, we hear that it's a unicorn few, few. Oh wow! We would love, I would love, I love to hear that story. Uh, uh, Invite yeah. to the show one, one of the days in the future. I'll, I'll take the, to take the last question now. Um, before we ask, obviously, the obvious last question. Now, but um, the Peter Thiel question: One thing that you know to be true, but very few people agree with you on this. So these are really difficult questions. Um, <laughs> they they, they go up in order of intensity. Right? Take you from seed all the yeah. way to seed. 
<laughs> so if if i think about my wife uh, i will say that uh, i still remember uh, some of my some things I, you can trust my clinical uh, acumen and uh, you know doctor skills i think i still have some of it left my wife would highly disagree with that so i would say <laughs> i think I, i think i still have some of that you know gray matter left and, and i think she'll disagree she listens to any other physician except me it, i shouldn't be saying this aloud but uh, anyway it's the story of every indian <laughs> innovator it's you are not alone in this my mother my, my father nobody believes you know anything that, that i talk about but if the same thing is said by somebody else it, it is 100% <laughs> i mean the same exact words could be parroted by somebody else but it's believe it or not but not ye indian yeah. ladkon ka problem hai <laughs> don't take it don't take it yeah. personally And 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 the thing is, you know, I I I then go and say I told you so, and apparently that there's a that 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 phrase is banned in the house, so I can't yeah, say it. Yeah, you. So, <laughs> But you didn't say it, right? That that. That's <laughs> <true>. <laughs> Last question: What are three books you would recommend to any founder? Yeah, there are lots of them. One, oh, a lot of founders, you know, especially when they're not in healthcare, they really open up and they like, you know. They always they always ask me about the term sheets, right? So I think uh, venture deals is a incredible book. I think that tagline is uh, no more than your lawyer and and VC investor. So that's a that's a must read. It's a it's a dry read, so you know uh, read it uh, read relevant sections. I think um, the other is uh, the new business road test. It's a very uh, fundamental focused like business book, right? Like it, nothing fancy, no. just like fundamental hardcore business right like focus on your margins focus on you know scale focus on your moat focus on like very like so seven eight fundamentals of building a business a really incredible book um I'm actually reading a book right now uh, called super founders uh, it's uh, by ali uh, tamasab he's a venture capitalist in the us He's basically taking like thirty thousand data points um, for companies that have become unicorns and and thirty th- you know a lot of them for companies that have not made it have raised money but not made it. So it kind of removes the biases that we have around investing. And so maybe t- to get inside like of uh, VC said, I think that could be interesting read for founders. Yeah, it's, it's a really good, founders. it's a really good read. Yeah, and then maybe one book. It's a very light read. It's uh, the CEO within. I think uh, a founder friend of mine recommended it to me. um this literally like 50 or 60 pages um uh, super easy read on like how should you run an effective company right like what are some good behaviors it's like a one on one like you know so uh um, well lots more that uh, these come to mind wonderful thank you so much pankaj i'm definitely going to pick up super founders and then uh, see you within uh, to read right away and then then we want to move on to the other two uh but again i mean it, it's been such an incredible conversation i i i think Even though we've been been at this for seventy five minutes, it just doesn't feel like yeah. there was any lack in energy, right? Any final words from your side? The one final thing I'll I'll say is uh, is I still uh, you know advice to founders uh, would be to uh, actually be courageous. A lot of this is uh, difficult, and uh, the you know many very few people right at the top. Um, I still cold email people all the time, um, and um, I see incredible results with it. So uh, you should, like, uh, for you know, for Ankita and for others uh, who who drop messages, uh, you'll find uh, a lot of people are there to help you. Uh, and I think you just have to ask. So if you don't ask, the answer will always be no. But Adi, thanks a lot for this. This has been incredible uh, fun and. Uh, I think we're we're at the, the start of something really exciting for the Indian uh, healthcare ecosystem, and uh, you know, really look forward to hopefully finding you know a way to work with you sometime. Awesome. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great night, and we'll see you again. Like I said, we're we're, we're doing this new format, so we'll, we'll be back uh, in about a couple of weeks with a new episode. And until then, thank you so much, Pankaj. Have a great day in Chicago. And um, I am completely jealous. One of my favorite cities in the world, and uh, I, I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.